Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. I want to go ahead and unbox and set up the new Nest Thermostat E. And no, Nest didn't send me this. Google didn't send me this either. Google actually owns Nest. I just bought it myself. Just went out and bought it. I wanted to try it out, uh, set it up in my apartment and set it up with my Google Home integration, all that good stuff. So I figured I'd share my experiences with you. Now I'm going to open it up, show you real quick what's in the box and set it up in my apartment, test it out, go run through the setup process as well. So let's get started. To begin, here's a quick look at the box, Nest Thermostat E. And on the side, it says works with most 24 volt heating and cooling systems, but they do have an option to make sure it's compatible. So before you even check it out, go to nest.com slash works, mine does. So let's get started. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. And right away, you do have the thermostat right in your face, very small, much smaller than I thought it was gonna be actually. But you see, nice connector as well. Set it to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and check out installation guide. So I might not need that. It seems pretty self-explanatory how to set the wiring up and everything. So it says turn off the power of heating and cooling before installing. So make sure you do that. And here is just the plate that you connect the wires through. It goes through the wall and then into here. And then of course you can just connect the nest right into there. Now, with that being said, I think there's one more thing in here and there is. So the last thing is just a back plate because of course your other thermostat might be a little larger so it might have a mark, but here's a back plate. Mine actually has a back plate, but I'm still gonna consider taking that off and actually putting this one on. So let's go ahead and set this up. Also forgot to show, it does include a couple wall screws as well. Now I will say it was pretty easy to set up I screwed in the back plate. You'll see on the left, there's a little residue from the old back plate, but it was a very large thermostat. Uh, not much I can really do about that, but I did connect the wires. The website was actually very helpful in telling me where to connect each specific wire. So make sure you go to that website I mentioned earlier about compatibility. Also worth noting, you are going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. So that did not come in the box, but let's go ahead and connect the nest and pop it right into that connector and it just snaps in. I will make note, this does spin around on the outside to set your temperature. And it looks like it's booting up for the first time, a home icon right there. Now next, you'll see I have an option for a bunch of different languages. I'm gonna do English US um, and it looks like there's a nest button down at the bottom uh, to press and then confirm my choice. And then next, I wanna go ahead and set up my internet connection. So let's go ahead and connect and find my Wi-Fi. Mine's actually called Google Wi-Fi. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the password on the Nest so I don't necessarily need the app. Okay, so I went ahead and typed in my password, hit done, and it's gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. Says this thermostat's online, press to continue. And now it's just checking for a quick software update. Doesn't look like anything is needed. So now location is next. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and it will go ahead and actually uh, kind of see where I'm located based on my internet connection. Next, it's gonna describe what type of house it is, single family, multifamily, apartment, or a business. So now where is your thermostat going to be located? Um, this is in between the kitchen and the family room. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select family room. Uh, heating and cooling. Now it says UNS Pro. I'm not setting up any complex system, so I'm not gonna hit pro mode. I'm just gonna hit homeowner. And now equipment, it uh, just lets you know where everything is connected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And now let's go ahead and continue. What's the fuel source for heating? Mine is gas, select that. <clears throat> what type of heating do you have? Mine's forced air. And there we go, now temperature. So cho choose your eco temperature. I'm just gonna hit done, skip that for now. System test, let's go ahead and run a quick test. Test the fan. And yes, I can hear the fan turning on and it did turn on. This was actually the first time it turned on. So it was a different noise than I'm used to and I'm gonna hit done. 
Now next is the Nest app itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone and get this app set up. So it's asking if I wanna control with the Nest app and it gets a key to type into the app. So I'm running through the app with the home setup. It helps you know if you're home or away. I'm going to hit okay. And it needs permissions. I'm gonna allow it for location. So anytime the phone recognizes I'm not home, I'm gonna blur the screen for obvious reasons, but uh, if it recognizes I'm home or away, it can turn on and off. You can also share it. I'm not gonna share it for now. I will in the future with my roommate. So now here's the setup process. Install your thermostat, I've already done that. And then enter that key that showed up. So I went ahead and entered the key and it says connected. So now we're all good to go. Going back to our thermostat, it says, do you wanna turn on auto schedule, basic schedule or more info? I'm just gonna do auto for now and it will learn your preferred temperature based on your adjustments and preferred schedule. So setup is done. It may take a few minutes to show the correct temperature, which is fine. Let's go ahead and hit finish. And there you have it. It says 68 right now. And it looks like it's 75 in the apartment at the moment. Also worth noting that you can actually touch the display. It actually is just a button when you press on the actual display. So you don't necessarily need to press the Nest button. You can actually just press the actual thermostat itself. So pressing the screen uh, gets you some options. Um, back settings, fan, turn off or switch to eco mode. So if I jump into settings as well, it gets me to fan schedule, energy history, lock, home away assist, nest sense, wake display when you pass by. I'll test that out in a second. Click sound, you can change um, from Fahrenheit to Celsius if you'd like to, which is always nice. I'm just gonna hit done. Now, of course, you can just use the meter to actually change the specific temperature that you want to. So I'm running the fan right now. You can set a specific time. It's running for 15 minutes at the moment. So the fan is on. Now you'll see the thermostat display shuts off and I'm gonna walk by it right now, so, or walk towards it as well. And you'll see the display just turns right on. So you can walk up to it, change the temperature, anything you want. But you once you walk away from it, it will actually turn that display off. I am new to this, so please cut me some slack, but it seems like the cooling wire, which is the blue wire, did come disconnected when I went to press in that actual nest. So that's why the cooling option didn't come up. I thought I was going crazy, but I am not. So make sure that you take off the nest thermostat if you have any problems and double check those wires. So you'll see it recognizes that the wiring is different. So I'm kind of glad this happened because it might be an issue you run into, so glad I addressed this. But now you'll see in the upper left, the cool option showed up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue, and now heating, cooling, and fan, so we are good to go. So now, of course, I can set a mode, heat, cool, heat and cool, or eco. I'm gonna turn cool on, and now you'll see a blue icon shows up. So here we go. It will let you know, I can hear the fan turning on, the AC's turning on, It'll let you know about how long it's going to take to get to that specific temperature. So in about an hour, it'll get to 73 degrees, which is about where I want it to be. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. If I go into the menu, now cooling is there, um, eco or off. So that cooling mode just got added. The Nest is also compatible with other very smart home devices, such as the Google Home, which I did just sync in the Google Home app. And you'll see I have the temperature set at 75, and inside the apartment, it is 73 degrees. Now, all I have to do to change that is turn. Hey, Google, turn the temperature to 70 degrees. You got it. Setting the family room to 70 degrees. Boom, there you go. So it just turned on the air, 70 degrees in one hour and 10 minutes. It should be that temperature, so very cool. So to finish everything off, the setup process was fairly painless other than me not connecting that wire properly, but that's completely on me, of course. Uh, but other than that, I'm excited to try it out. It's nice that I can just go ahead and change the temperature with my voice, not having to walk over to it. And if I do walk over to it, it will light up and recognize that uh, the motion of me coming towards it. Overall, that's it. Hopefully it saves me a little money on my energy bill. Uh, go ahead and click that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe as well, more coverage to come. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.